All right, gang, there are signs and symbols everywhere, including the cemetery. And this fella here, he happens to be a member of the Odd Fellows. Yes, that old organization. You can tell by the three linked chains representative of that organization. And believe it or not, the Odd Fellows are still in existence today. A hand pointing up is usually an indication that the soul has risen to the heavens and the deceased is a member of the clergy. The hand represents the hand of God, Manus Day, and in this context, the hand is a symbol of the Trinity and is usually enclosed in a circle or has rays of light emanating from it. A less common upright hand is the Greek form of the Manus Day, where the first two fingers and the fourth finger are upright and the third finger is bent down. This configuration simulates the letters IC, XC, which are contractions of the name of Jesus Christ in Greek. All right, gang, and then we have the death head. That's right, a skull. Now, sometimes this skull has many different forms. Sometimes it's gnawing a bone, sometimes it's by itself, sometimes it's some crossbones. But in this example, we have the winged skull. And this was kind of started by the early Puritans. And as Puritans waned, sometimes they added the wings. And then eventually the influence changed. And eventually it was replaced by a human face or head. And then it was referred to as a soul effigy. 